So Jose Benavides needed to teach me about boxing and I about acting for him. I had to draw the line. I'm just getting started, little brother. And I had to draw the line between my brothers and my enemies. I'm coming for it all. Hello. Hello. Congratulations on the movie. Thank you. Thank you. Um, not only is Jonathan Majors a beast in this movie, but so is your character. Thank I you. I mean, you are a fierce mama bear. Very. You're not, you know, you're not the type of mom like, ay, no le pegaron en la cara. No. No, mijo. No, you're like, Hit get him. up. Yeah, <laughs> get up. Yeah. Dale, mas Jab, let's go. Yeah, yeah. Hit him a lot harder. So exactly. what was it like for you? Was it written like that on the page, or did you have to come in and kind of... Like... It, it was written like that. You know, I from the very beginning, I knew that Laura was going to be strong. She knew what she was coming from a world of boxing, so you can't be in a world predominantly about men, right, and not be a strong woman to stand your, to stand your own. But, um, you know, obviously, I know how to play strong women, so it kind of came easy. And Michael just let me have all the fun and let me run with it. You know, he said, you know, this is this is you. I want you to play. I want you to feel comfortable. And and I was able to do that, which was great. Yeah, in the movie, you see that he's kind of fierce. Or he looks at her like, he oh, does. man. <laughs> he does, which is wonderful because it's like when you look at, you know, Adonis Creed, right? And he has this ultimate respect for Lauda. You know that she means business. Right. So it was good to play that. How familiar were you with the boxing world and, like, the kind of people that kind of run, like, their own kids in the ring. You know, I didn't have a lot of it, uh, a lot of background. I grew up in a household with um, my father and my brothers, and they watched, you know, all the boxing, and my my boyfriend watches the boxing world and all that. And I was like, I don't know anything about it. So Jose Benavides needed to teach me about boxing and I about acting for him. So that was our that was our little like you know agreement. I went to dinner with him. I said, so listen. I'll teach you the acting, you teach me boxing. And he was like, great. And so he would say, you know, give me little pointers to say this, to say that. He goes, my dad usually says this to me in the corner. And I was like, ooh, this is good. And then I met his mother um, when I went to see his fight in, in New York, and she and I looked like sisters, which was really interesting. Wow. Yeah, cool. yeah. Well, that all makes sense, because it the way you are, the way you act, it's like it's so real. Like, it's yeah. like somebody who would be outside the ring telling the person yeah, oh, like, absolutely, how to do it. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. And in real life, his mother and I sat like next to each other at MGM, yelling at him loudly, cursing, doing the thing. And I was like, oh, wow, this is, I've tapped into the real woman here. Real life, I like it. <laughs> now, what was it like watching Michael B. Jordan, his film debut as a director? What was that like? It was wonderful to watch him because there was not a, a second where I was like, oh, he's nervous or he's doubting himself. If he did, we never saw it. He came in there with confidence. He came in there knowing exactly what he wanted. He knew the shots. When I first met him, you know, he took me up to his office and showed me every single board and every single moment and said, this is what we're looking at and this is going to be the fight sequence. And I was like, this man is prepared. And it showed. It showed, um, and not only shows on the screen, but it showed on set. He was great. Yeah, I mean, that film was tight, not in the slang sense, but tight as in, like, structurally. <laughs> yeah. It was just like, boom, 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 It was boom. a lot. I've there never seen a, anything like it. Yeah. There was like, a, no wasted scenes. There was a lot <laughs> happening, too, you know, and, and there was constant changes happening in, in, in the script, but we were shooting it, and there was never a chaotic moment where I felt like he can't handle it. And I was like, how is he doing this? This is his first film, Creed Three. He's the star of it. You know, there was a lot of things that he was juggling, and yet he showed up and created this amazing thing.